Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the tier 7 premium Russian medium tank, the Talon T44-122. Now this is a slap in tier 7 medium tank. It's a T44 at tier 7 with the 122mm gun that you get on the IS. With a little few differences in terms of the accuracy and stuff like that. I've got a few videos already up on the channel of this tank. And if you haven't guessed by the title, as always, this is the third block of excellence video for the tanks. This is what I when I achieved the third block of excellence for it. it was a little while ago, as you'll notice, with I think the end screens are still blue, possibly. The, video, the replays were from a little while ago. Again, it's one of those tanks that I had quite a few replays from when I went for the third mark. And they just sort of sat in the vault sitting there going, hello, make a video about me, and I just never did. So we're getting around to it, and the reason for that is that it's actually a contract tank. So this is the second tank that you can earn via the contract system as a premium. The first was the Tiger One Hammer, and you'll be able to earn this if you just go to the contract. So go to the contract tab in your garage and sign the contract, and you'll get a free Tier 7 premium tank. That actually has good credit-making potential as well. It's a weird one, because most Tier 7 medium, well, most Tier 7 premiums don't make that much credits. But this actually has a good silver booster. I think it's like 60%, which is really good for a Tier 7. Most are like 40 or 50%, somewhere close to 40%. So that is a bonus for the tanks, so it actually makes really good credits for a tier 7. And it's kind of fun. I like it. It is a little bit derpy, but I like it. It may get have ha ammo racks everywhere and get ammo racked a lot. But I you know, it's got it's quirky. It's got some it's got a niche, and I really enjoyed that about the tank. I enjoyed the fact that it had high alpha. I enjoyed the fact that it had pretty good mobility. And I just got over the fact that it had no no armor or gun depression really it's got five degrees of gun depression which is very russian very very russian but it does have this 390 alpha at tier 7 which is high for the tier and obviously like i say with the mobility as well most of the tanks that have 390 have what well, a heavy tanks like the is or all that kb122 that i just destroyed you know most of those tanks aren't as mobile as this thing is and like i say this this thing just slap it's got 0.43 accuracy which is not the greatest so you want to help it out with the crew skills and stuff but and obviously the aim time is not the best but it does slap when you keep working them over like you're seeing in this replay it has 175 pen on the ap just like an is as well like the is 122s and 217 on the apcr just like the is6 which is a tier 8 heavy as well why that tank still has two, 175 pen, no one knows, except for Wargaming. So in terms of a crew on the Talon, I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Trap Mechanic, Situational Awareness, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Running Gun, and Camo Expertise. Camo Expertise, because this tank actually has filthy camo, and it's quite nice to make the most of that. Gun Perks, because like I say, this gun is horrendously derpy at times and you don't have the ability to do vert stabs so you want to run all the gun perks to make sure this gun is, is as accurate as you can humanly make it and then yeah just get there the general perks that i run for the tank in terms of equipment i run rammer camo net and optics like i say make the camo filthy because the camo is filthy i've had games in the past in this tank actually i think maybe one of the videos i've got on the channel demonstrates it quite well where i have become a scout tank and I've just sort of sat in a position, not moving, using my great camo, and just spotting tanks end up with like a couple of thousand, you know, a couple of K assistants, which is great for a tier 7 medium. And it's really hard for people to spot you when you do have that crazy camo. And then, you know, it helps you to stay unspotted for longer to be able to slap people up with this gun. And especially when you're a glass cannon like this tank is and made of Amorax, it's nice to stay unspotted for quite a while and make sure that you're not getting shot at pretty much but naturally with the equipment you, you could decide you know what i don't want to run camo net you could run a gld because like i say the aim time is pretty long so you could run the gun lane drive to be able to make your aim time better and make it so that even though you are a derpy gun and you can't run vert stuff to make yourself 20 percent more accurate you can get the gun aimed in on target a lot easier and you can help it out in that way too so so far in this first game, we've managed to get 2.7k damage and 519 assistance. Our team is all over their team on the enemy cap. 
And they've got three tanks left. So they've got the TD, which has just killed a Project 54 in the Ferdinand. Another tank that's at D0. And then they've got this VK4502A that I am attacking. And I'm alone against a Tier 8 Heavy here. So we've loaded premium because we're not going to guarantee penning with 175 pen. And we're just waiting. And that was the moment we were waiting for. We were waiting for that guy to get spotted. And we managed to slap a really lucky shell into the top of his engine deck. Which actually set him on fire as well, which is great. And we're just waiting for the reload. We're going to side scrape out a little bit so we can get the gun depression. Try and see if we can spot him. He's in an awkward spot. We're just looking for the shot into his side there. But unfortunately it bounces. Really unfortunate moment, but again, we're just waiting. This guy could quite easily rip us apart, so we've just got to be careful. And he ends up firing, so it's like, right, we're going to see if we can find his lower plate, because that is where we're going to pen it. But it's just... The, the ridge line is just covering his lower plate. This guy is so fortunate with that, that his lower plate is being... Look, he's just so unpenable for me at this point where he is. And it's like, what is going on? So we've just got to wait for him to... Display the lower plate, which he does. Finally, we managed to get that shell into that guy. 350, a bit of a low roll. But we now put him down to a one-shot for us. Our team on the other flank has fallen quite heavily. And it's now just a medium tank. It has a heavy tank as well. So we really have to deal with this guy and hold on to some hit points. But he is playing careful. So you know what? We'll take the hit. We know we can do it. And we're just going to use our mobility to get around the side of the heavy tank and shut him down. I wanted to save my hit points, which is why I was being careful. But from the moment that he was just in a position where it was going to be awkward for me to be able to get shots into his lower plate and stuff without taking a hit, I decided, you know what? I've got the hit points. I'm just going to take the hit and shut him down. Now I'm hoping this heavy tank can actually deal with this medium tank. It's a king dragon that's really healthy against this heavy tank. So what we're going to do is, because it's going to take me a while to get up that hill to get anywhere near him, I'm actually going to use the elevation of this little ridge here and hope that the King Dragon gives us the ability to shoot us. Because while he's going around him, he might actually give us a good chance of getting a shot at him. But he actually seems to be staying quite be low below there. And he's actually attacking the Paladin. And the Paladin does have really good DPM. And the Paladin actually shuts down that King Dragon. And we finished the game with the victory. Six kills, 3.9k damage, 519 assistance. The Ace Tanker, the Sniper, the Top Gun. 2,100 nearly base XP. A really great game for the Talon in the Tier 8 game. I say it slaps. That's the one thing I really like. Because I, if you watch this channel, I'm an Alpha Whore. I like high Alpha guns for the Tier. And 390 Alpha on a medium tank is high for a tier 7. And I really like how hard it hits. And like I say, with the camo as well, the camo is really nice. And you can stay unspotted a lot. And the mobility on the tank is actually pretty decent as well. And like I say, it makes pretty good credits for a tier 7. It's a pretty damn fun little tier 7 medium. And to get it for free via the contracts, you just got to work for it. Fine, decent. You'll enjoy it if you get it, I think. But you just like I say, you've got to be careful not to play it too aggressively because you are made of uh, of Amorax and you are made of Spit and Kleenex. So people easily pen you very, very easily. Most likely they'll damage your Amorak a lot. You want to be staying back a bit further than the front lines. But we're on the second replay. And we're on Westfield, which, when we're going for the second mark and we're at 94.5 or something like that, perfect. Spot on perfect map. Because we can use this middle area to try and spot the enemy team as they cross and get good shots at them. But in fact, we've got a light tank that actually is spotting them up, which has given us good shots at these guys. So, you know what? We may as well stay here and start pummeling the shots in as many as we can. The light tank was lighting them up and... It's just doing its wonders. It's nice when you've got a light tank that knows what they're doing and can actually spot that area because then you can start hurting the enemy team. But the light tank's had to run away because he got spotted. So what I'm going to do now is become the light tank. Become one with the light tank. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward into one of these bushes up here and try and start spotting the enemy team as they're moving across. The Tiger 1 spotted in the open, so it's like, well, it'd be rude not to fire at that guy. We end up shutting him down. There's now a VK3601H that's moving across the open that we have spotted. Just waiting for the reload to go in and we slap a nice shot into him. I was hoping to track him in place as well. And this is where the really nice camo of the tank and having muffled shot and... Well, we don't have muffled shot, but having the really nice camo of the tank helps. If we had muffled shot, it'd be even better because we could stay on spot even easier here. But we are managing to just keep slapping the shots. And this is what I say, where the camo is really great. Now, after firing, the camo does 
take a hit because it is a 122 mil gun. But if we use the foliage to good effect, like you're saying, we're using all the bushes as well as we can. You can just keep firing without ever getting spotted and you can just start doing quite a lot of damage. So right here, we are probably going to get spotted, or I'm anticipating getting spotted, but the T-150 is blind. So the T-150 doesn't actually spot us there, and again, the camera helps a lot. I pulled forward to get rid of that T-150 because it was shooting our light tank, and I couldn't take it. Then we see shell tracers go from in front of us again. It's like, okay, you know what, I, I want to push forward and try and spot whatever it is, because we do have a lot of shooters at G-0, and hopefully they'll be able to get shots at us again. But... We've got some nice shots at this HWK-12 and that AMX M445. We pop a shot at the HWK-12, which takes his health down a lot. We end up spotting the champion. The champion panther was right in front of us. And, oh, unfortunately, that shot on the HWK misses. The AMX M445 has become interested in what we're doing, which is really unfortunate. We're just trying to stay alive at this point and trying to weave and dodge and duck. We end up getting unspotted again because the Champion Panthers pulled back around the corner. So we're just looking for a shot to finish off this MX on 445. Can't quite find it. Then the Champion pulls around again, spots us up, and we're just in a really awkward situation. We finally get penned by that guy. Just looking for the shot into him, and the shot misses, and he gets another shot into us. Really awkward, awkward situation. It's like, please, guys, please, someone help and shoot this, this MX on 445. We finally get unspotted, so now we're sort of safe. Just looking for a shot at the Yahtzee, see if we can get a shot into his side. Pixel shots at this point with a really derpy gun. But we believe in Russia, so... Russia, da, you know? Believe in the power of the Soviet sniper of Russia. But we're not going to get a chance to fire at those guys, and it's like, okay, you know what, they're all distracted now. Let's take the opportunity to get rid of this Champion Panther because he's the only thing that could keep spotting me and keep poking forward and spotting me, which is really annoying and really awkward. So what we want, so you know, what we wants to do is get rid of him, and we managed to get rid of him. So now we're going to pull up this ridge line to see if we can start getting more shots at the P43 Tur, but it doesn't go in. Then there's an Emil One gets spotted down below, which is really awkward. Again, we don't want that to start coming around the corner and autoloading at us. The medium tank get shut down but also our friend gets shut down by the Yahtzee it's like okay you know what we've got a poke up above here and see if there's anything camping and shooting which we've seen a few shell tracers fly but we've just got to be careful because that that Yahtzee was still behind us and that is most definitely awkward and as we're here it's struggling with physics because you know physics the Emil one gets spotted and it's like oh god that's awkward so you know what while he's firing his clip we're just gonna take the opportunity to pop round and pop a shot into his side because we do not want that guy reloading a clip and getting a shot at us. Because that would not be good. This Yahtzee here has got his ass to us. It's like, well, I'm going to help my friend over there. Because if I help my friend, hopefully he'll help me with the Emil. We shut down the Yahtzee. And we're just looking for the Emil 1 now. It's like, where is he? There he is. We end up spotting him. I, I'm thinking he's possibly reloading right now. Which it definitely looks like he is. But the fact is, he starts charging at us. It's like, okay, he's definitely not reloading anymore get away from him fortunately enough he ends up missing one we're nearly reloaded the shell i'm thinking you know what, actually i'm going to chance it right what i'm going to try and do is get around the corner track him in place and we'll take one shot from him and be able to pull back rather than him get all the way around the corner and just start dumping the clip we managed to get around get the shot into him and then he gets shut down by our friends which is good my thinking there was just to i knew i was going to take a hit but i'd rather take the hit track him in place and stop him coming around the corner and just dumping his clip into me and by tracking him in place, hopefully my friends shut him down. And then that way, yeah, like I say, he doesn't just get to come round. I get the one shot into him, but he manages to put his whole clip into us because we had a position where we could actually drop back and get safe. And that was the whole point of it. So now we're coming up to help this guy against the defender. We get a nice shot into the back end of the defender, but our, this is where it's going to be a bit of a struggle because the defender with our 217 pen is going to be a struggle. We're just looking for a shot into the IS-6, but unfortunately it misses. And I'm thinking, right, okay, what I want to do is kind of surprise the defender and get round his side and pop a shot in. So what we're going to do is push pretty aggressively to try and find this defender and get round his side and get a shot into it. And it's like, right, he was just over here. So hopefully I might be able to surprise him and get a shot in. And unfortunately the timing was so off. He ends up spotting us with his back end just round the corner. It tells the defender exactly where we are. 
Which means that he ends up turning around to look straight at us. And it's like, oh god, I've got to get out of here. And unfortunately, on the move, the defender shuts us down. And we finish that game with a defeat, unfortunately. And we finish the game with three kills, 5.1k damage, 764 assistance. That's nearly 6k combined. The ace tank of the high caliber. The third mark of excellence. 1300, well, nearly 1400 base XP on a loss, which is pretty decent. And unfortunately, we finished the third mark on the loss, but it, it is what it is. We, we just couldn't do anything about the defender unless we got around his side and he managed to catch us out there. So that's the talent. You can earn it through the contracts. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.